Head Race is Gecko Man 44, and I thought I'd give you a quick update on a few things. First of all, I've been really busy lately, and I haven't had time to make that many videos. So, yeah, sorry about that. Also, yeah, Lego Invasion, and I'm not going to talk about that today, because you, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you want to know about Lego Spider-Man Season 2. This video is mainly just letting you know about what the rest of the episodes are going to be like. You probably already know mostly, although you've probably seen if you watched my original things, I'm letting you know about it before it came out, which if you're wondering what the big thing was, that yeah, that was the super adaptoid was that robot cop, although nobody watched that episode, which I'm really disappointed with, although, mm. so, yeah, the thing is, um, the episodes are gonna be, so, I changed up my plans a little bit due to specific problems, First of all, I can't get Hippo to voice Deadpool right now. I'm trying to get him to. The next episode's gonna be Deadpool, for sure. It's not gonna be called Deadpool. It's gonna be called Deadpooled, because I thought I think that's better than just calling it Deadpool or Mercenary. It's gonna be called Deadpooled, like Spider-Man just called Deadpooled, although, meh, whatever. Um, yeah, he's gonna be hunting after Spider-Man. I don't know. Oh, right. Um, I'll stay here, somebody's hiring him. Um, if you're wondering that... There are two big things that are going on right now in the back that you don't know that okay, you know about it probably if you watch the episodes, all the you know, post credit scenes, although the episodes are gonna be basically okay, so the you can probably see that one episode that some of the episodes are gonna be based on that one that there's the big things going on right now are one that also smite's been kidnapped and dog ox forcing him to do stuff. If you're wondering, he's actually trying to get Ulster Smythe to stall him. However, he thinks it'll be a good thing if he actually does succeed with that. You see, Ulster Smythe is going to be doing that, and he's going to keep getting robotically upgraded. However, Doc Ock's actually working on cloning Spider-Man, which we the finale with which introduces Scarlet Spider. I'm probably going to call them Clone and Saga, even though you don't want to hear that because the most people from the 90s don't, or even before the 90s and stuff, they don't like the Clone Saga, which is probably because it's lasted for so long. Of course, I was never able to read it, I just have to look up what happened on the internet for most stuff, because I can't afford to get a comic book every time it comes out, that's why I rarely get new ones, and why I just know the information I know from the internet, although, mm. so, after Deadpool, um, there's still other characters I need to introduce, first of all, I have introduced some characters I was not planning on introducing initially. First of all, Matt Gargan, Scorpion. He's not going to become Scorpion in Season 2. Now, you're probably all like, why is he in the series then? Well, he will become Scorpion, just not in Season 2. He's going to become Scorpion in Season 3. Like, Episode 3 or 4, he's going to become Scorpion in Season 3. Which, however, Matt Gargan's in it. Okay, so originally I was going to have Beetle in that episode. And... He was going to lose his voice in that episode and become mute. Although, at the time, I couldn't find my Blue Beetle Lego minifigure, so I couldn't put him in, so I replaced him with Matt Gargan. If I had found him, then that whole episode team I uploaded, it would have not happened. It would have been completely different. It would have instead been Chameleon more main villain. Like, none of those other guys would have returned or anything. It would have mostly just been Chameleon framing. Spider-Man would have probably either called Camouflage, Disguise, Disguised, or... Brain, however, because I couldn't find the Blue Beetle minifigure, that episode happened. So, yeah. Also, there was an ep- there is- and there are actually two episodes of the series that I am not going to be doing. They're cancelled episodes. The first one is one, it's just Beetle fighting Spider-Man the most episode, and then he ends up getting- getting crushed- his- one, his bubble corpse get crushed at the end, and he- it comes mute. Of course, I can't do that now, because I put him in the episode team where that happened, and I decided early on in the series that, in the season, that I, I decided, I originally I was going to make that an, its own episode, although I decided that wouldn't be enough of a story for an episode, because they're only really like two to five minutes long, usually, and lately they've only been longer because I keep putting the intro in, although it's only in there because I want an intro, so, yeah. Um, I'm trying to make them longer, although every time I keep failing... Like, I th I tried to make the Lizard episode lo the longest episode of the series, although I still failed at that. Longest episode's still history somehow. Um, so Spider-Man is going to be... Okay, so, the other cancelled episode... 
was one for season two, of course, and it was a Vulture episode where Vulture's the main villain again, and he ends up getting new, a new suit. Now, you're wondering, okay, so he got a new suit between seasons instead of him actually getting his own new suit in an episode. He was going to get a mask in it and everything, all the, and that's what that one from the trailer and the intro is, although in the end, I canceled the episode, and now he just got a new suit in between seasons, and it doesn't even have a mask. It's the classical suit instead of Buzz Lightyear wings on a painted green body, so, yeah. Um, past that, though, not that really other episodes have been canceled. So, yeah. Okay, so, I figured I'm gonna let you know about what's gonna happen pretty much, as much as I'm letting you know, for the rest of Season 2. And then I'm gonna let you know a little bit about Season 3, because I've started deciding more in my mind about Season 3. So, Season 2, next episode's Deadpool. Like I said before, introduces Deadpool. Now, his origin will not be in the episode. He's gonna get his own origins episode, or, episode in between seasons. Which, that might be the only origins episode I do in between these seasons, because... I might do Ant-Man's as well, like, Scott Lang Ant-Man's, not Hank Pym's, although, right now I'm planning on instead, so, if I, e even then, I'm gonna do an Avengers series in between instead, so, yeah. Um, so, then past that, I'm going to, after that Avengers series has ended its first season, I'm gonna go back to Lego Spider-Man for season three. Um, in season two, other than that, there are a few other episodes, a few characters that are gonna be introduced, I'm not really going to let you know about one of them specifically, because I'm trying to give that a surprise. Don't worry, it will not be the finale. The finale is introducing Scarlet Spider. I've said that from the, basically like before the, se the season even started. Although, the episode before the finale will introduce a new villain, along with the return of the Green Goblin. And I'm not letting you know who that new villain is. You can probably guess just from the scenes from after it, although... He's in the series, he's just not a villain yet. Also, that Green Goblin's identity, you all know who that second Green Goblin is. Yes, I know the original is not dead, although it's complicated. Basically, that new Green Goblin, you all know who it is. I'm not going to say if you don't, because that makes it more of a surprise, although you probably know who it is. Um, if you don't, then too bad. Um, yeah, he's going to have his identity revealed to Spider-Man in that episode to introduce the new villain. On the return of the other Green Goblin, however, I'm not going to tell you if you don't know. You, you probably know, honestly, who that Green Goblin is. And yeah, I am just going to call him either the new Green Goblin, the Green Goblin, only he's an imposter instead, you know, or the new Goblin, I don't know. He's probably not going to be returning in that form after Season 2, though. He might at some point, although he might instead he might end up becoming a hero instead. I'm not really sure my fate on him so far. Next up, I'm going to let you know that other episodes for the season... Um, I am going to be introducing a few more villains, I think. I can't really remember that well. Um, I am going, what the episodes were, although I am going to probably do a few more episodes to introduce new heroes. I'm not sure on that, though. Whatever, although, basically, I'm planning on other stuff right now, like... I might do a Fantastic Four episode or some, in, or an Inhumans episode or something, although probably not. Past that, I need to introduce more villains. You probably know who the villains are from before. Although, villains in Season 3, because last time I talked to you guys about the series, um, I didn't know what I was going to do much with Season 3 other than Episode 1 and 2 will both introduce Carnage, if not the finale. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the first two episodes of Season 2 Carnage, because I have no other plans for that right now. Um, Season... Three will have Matt Gargan become the Scorpion in it. And Season 3 will also introduce Black Cat. Now, it's complicated. Although, I'm going to try to introduce Black Cat by using my, one of my Catwoman minifigures. Because in my Batman series, I'm going to be using the Lego Batman movie one. Although, that means I still have the 2011 version of Catwoman. And I'm going to try and use her as Black Cat. However... For the white hair, I'm going to take it off and put an old lady white hair on. So, yeah, that's that's easy to fix the problem with. Past that, other characters I'm introducing, I'm not quite sure. If you're wondering how I'm going to do Scorpion when I don't have a minifigure of him, I'm actually just going to put the... Probably, I'm probably, I'm probably put Lloyd's mask from the Jago, you know, like, not the movie, the, the show version. Probably going to put that mask onto 
the Obi-Wan's head, and then I'm going to put that onto that painted green body, only I'm going to put on the old Doc Ock arms on there and remove three of the arms, and there you go, you have a scorpion, that's how I'm going to do that. Um, so, past that, I might introduce the Howard the Duck in Season 3, I might do it in Season 2, I might not do it at all until eventually, although I'm not quite sure on that. Oh, right, episode of season two, I need to let you know about. After Deadpool, I know what the next episode's gonna be. I th it's either gonna be called Amulet or Necklace, and it's gonna feature... Okay, so, bear with me here. I know this is crazy and not at all like it is in the comics alone. I'm gonna have Gwen Stacy become White Tiger. Wanna know why? First of all, if you're like, the hair doesn't line up. In my series, if you've seen some of the episodes, you see that Gwen's hair is black instead of white or blonde. So, that is not a problem. On top of that, I just don't feel like introducing Ava Yala right now. Um, when I eventually, I'm probably eventually gonna do one based off the night when Stacy died, although not anytime soon. When I do it, it's gonna be different. It's gonna introduce the character of... It's gonna introduce, so... She's gonna become Bl White Tiger, however, after she, you know, gets killed off at some point. I'm going to be introducing other stuff. Also, just letting you know for stuff other than that, um, I don't really know much about Season 3 other than those villains will be introduced. Carnage, Black Cat, and... Oh, I think I'm introducing Hammerhead in Season 3 as well. Probably. I also might make Kingpin more of a villain. I don't remember if I've introduced him in Season 2. Although, I'm not sure either, so, yeah. If I... Yeah, so... There's also probably going to be less team-ups over time for the Spider-Man characters, however, they will... Other t characters will be appearing that are not Spider-Man characters, however, not nearly as often as they did in Season 1, because why in Season 2 we haven't had that many other than the season premieres, and I think that was it, actually. Well, Deadpool is appearing, and Gwen Stacy is becoming a white tiger, although that's about that. Um, also, um, Season 3 might feature... Okay, so Season 3 or some other season, like, probably Season 3 will feature Lizard becoming Dr. Connors again. However, he's gonna figure out Spider-Man's identity, and he's going to make him a lair in the sewers, and Spider-Man, Scarlet Spider, and and Dr. Connors are gonna be working together at that point, and White Tiger, of course. Um, Past that, um, episode eventually, probably like season 5 or something, I'm gonna do a Ghost Rider episode. Um, past that, I don't really know. One, no. Oh, right, one more character, season 3 introduced, sort of. He was in season 2 a little bit. He, I mean, season 2 is who's still on, although I don't think I'm gonna have him come back until season 3. Basically, you probably saw, if you didn't, then watch it, it's the... It's probably not going to be in the description, although that episode, I believe, is the is shocking. It introduces Shocker. Um, he actually reveals that Jackal, this universe's version of Jackal... Okay, first of all, if you wonder why I'm using Man Bat for Jackal, first of all, when he makes a better appearance, I am going to use better arms. I just couldn't find any of the on such short notice when I was making the video. First of all, yes, this universe, Jackal did kill Uncle Ben instead of somebody, instead of that one random guy, or Sandman, or whoever you want to, you know. So, Jackal will make a better appearance in Season 3. He's not going to be the main villain, probably. He might be, although, yeah, he's going to be having a better appearance in Season 3. Season 2 is just sort of in flashback. Season 3 is going to have different arms, and he's going to be more of like an actual character. Eventually, I'm going to do some more based off of, like, big comic events, more episodes, like, not season three, like, maybe way down the line. I'm going to eventually, like, probably near the end of the series, which will be, like, I don't know how many seasons eventually, although eventually it'll probably get really high on, so, like, the seasons are just going to have so many of them. Although, it's going to introduce the character of Craven being, okay, so it's not going to introduce Craven. he's already in the series. Eventually, I am going to do Craven's Last Hunt, different way... It's gonna be different, although it's not gonna be that different. Um, I'm not doing it yet, because I don't know if I'm still gonna need him. Although, yeah, it's that. Also, also, um, I am gonna introduce other symbiotes, although it's gonna be slow. Like, I mean, Venom and Carnage are like a season apart. They might take longer to introduce other ones. That ones after that are probably gonna be the Life Foundation symbiotes, or Lasher, Scream, Phage, Agony, and Riot. After that might be Toxin. All, and then probably anti-venom and stuff. Well, yeah, guys, I don't have much time, so yeah, guys, you guys, bye, Gooey.